Would you like to see what comes out of the HEPA filters after using a table saw to cold cut an entire wooden bowl? This should be fun. Now this vacuum cleaner, which is what I use to clean the HEPA filters because it has uh, better filtration than the shop vac, and it's quiet. This vacuum cleaner was completely clean. I took it apart, cleaned it all on the inside, and this is what the dust collection system missed. Cove cutting that bowl. It's a 21 inch bowl. But that's what it missed right there. And if that isn't an advertisement, number one for dust collection, but number two for my homemade dust collection, this right here should prove to the doubters she works. He works good. Obviously all the big chips are uh, downstairs in the barrel. This is just what made it through because I got a tiny leak around my barrel. The barrel lid doesn't seal quite right. So this is what made it up through and got caught in the filters. Everything else is still down there. So again, that's amazing. That crap is so powder fine. Amazing. So for the doubters of the homemade system, <laughs> proof is in that little pile of pudding. The fact that it isn't larger, that's just more evidence to the positive. You can spend a crap ton buying purpose-built add-on HEPA filter air cleaners for your sawdust system, or you can go down to the nearest truck shop with some measurements and get yourself some heavy truck air cleaners. They are a finer particulate screen. And these, I went to the shop guys and I said, hey, I'm building an air cleaner for my wood shop. You have any old ones? They came up with three in about four minutes and it cost me a handshake. So, that's my advice. But right there, that is my proof. Best thing I ever did for my shop was that hand-built cyclone. And it doesn't have to be expensive to save your lungs.